It's the weekend, so relax and listen to some stories the whole family can enjoy. That's right, it's the Saturday Story Circle, here on the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. Warning, we are under attack. Warning, we are under attack. Warning, we are under attack. Warning, we are... Is that a fact? Tell me something I don't know. Evasive maneuvers. Phew. That was close. Tell me something, computer. We are under attack. Oh, something else. What are my chances of survival? Chances of survival currently at 50%. No, that's good. Chances of survival without capture, 0%. Chances of survival with capture, 50%. Chances of failure to survive, 50%. Hmm, so you're telling me not to count my chickens. I see. Well, it's been a fun life. Warning, unidentified craft approaching 2.5 degrees to port. Oh, great. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse. This is Captain Peter Robinson, Russian Chocolate. You require assistance. And it just has. These are the adventures of the Starship Jackal, our continuing mission to explore new garden patches on different worlds, to seek out larger and juicier carrots, to boldly go where no rabbit has gone before. Featuring the voice talents of Alex Gilmore, Bobby Owens, Rocky Rungano, Michael Liebman, David McIver, Jules Ismail, and Stefania Littenbaum. Today's episode of All the Starships in All the Parsecs. Status Report, Commander. It appears that our arrival has necessitated a withdrawal by the aggressive party. The shuttlecraft has received severe damage to its port side and may also have equipment failure. Lieutenant Ayers, has the craft been receiving our communications? As far as I can tell, Captain. Hail them again, Lieutenant. Aye, Captain. This is Captain Peter Rabbit of the USS Jackalope. Do you require assistance? I'm just a simple farmer. Uh, thank you for your assistance. I will be on my way now. If I may interject, Captain, because their ship has sustained heavy damage, we may be able to assist in effective repairs. That would be the neighborly thing to do, Captain. My great-aunt Gertrude once spent her summer in a farmland when she was younger. They are very friendly people. Simple Farmer, we would like to extend the hand of friendship and assist you with repairs. No. Are you sure? Yes. The dent is. Freeze communications. Aye, aye, sir. All channels frozen. Do you detect anything to make you suspicious, Commander? There does appear to be a trace of hostility in her voice, although I cannot be sure that it's towards us or you. The voice is familiar. Reopen the channel. Channel open, Captain. Simple Farmer, we have reason to believe you may be hiding something aboard your ship. Under Article 175.5, Amendment 6, Subsection 28, Paragraph 9, ratified by Member of Planet Overwrite, Subcommittee 2654, I will be boarding your ship with a security detail. Boy, that was a mouthful. Indeed. 
Captain. Now you just wait one cotton tail minute here, Peter Rabbit. Jessica? Oh! Darn it! <clears throat> According to Article 175.5, Amendment 6, Subsection 28, Paragraph 9, ratified by members of Subcommittee 2654, you have no cause for denial. Are you saying I can't stop him from boarding my ship? Affirmative. Jessica, is that you? Ugh, oh, what should I do? Your query has no parameters. What? Your query, what should I do, has no parameters. I wasn't talking to you. There is no one else to engage in conversation with. I was talking to myself. I will be leading a security detail into your ship within the next ten minutes. Oh, that won't be necessary. I'll allow you to perform your repairs. Please open your shuttle bay and prepare for my arrival. But I'm not staying, Peter. Once repairs are complete, I'm on my way. Understood? I look forward to seeing you again. Captain, out. Shuttle Bay. After all these years, Commander. All these years and I run into her in the vastness of space. I take it you are acquainted with the captain of the vessel, Captain. Yes, we were close. Long, long ago. Far, far away. Back at the academy during our training days on the overbiten moon of plaque. What happened? I don't know. One day she just vanished. Nobody on campus knew where she'd gone. Only that she'd taken off in a shuttlecraft during the night. Perplexing. I can sometimes remember it like it was yesterday, Commander. She never left any word. No note and no communication. She just vanished and I never saw her again. Agonizing. Now let's get one thing straight. I'm here until you fix me up, and then I'm out of here. It's nice to see you again, too. Enough of the niceties. I'm only here because you pulled that subsection 7 appendix 9 baloney on me. Where's your ball? We have a mess. <laughs> I don't care how clean it is. I just want a drink. You, with the funny ears. Where can I get a drink around here? This is Commander Fumper. It was his idea to offer you our help in repairing your ship. Oh, thanks for nothing. I was doing just fine. Wow. I haven't seen a shuttle like that for years. Yeah. I'm not sure some of these parts are serviceable. I wonder what it runs on. Some kind of potato-based fuel by the smell from its emissions pipe. What's the hull made from? I think it's polyperspexis. That's rare. If my memory banks serve me correctly, polyperspexis went out of fashion with the introduction of plexifibrustic. Plexifibrustic was never a patch on Kalikodonike, and that's certainly been around for a while. Do you think we need to report every fault? Is that chewing gum on the hull? I do believe it is! Spearmint! This may take some time. There's nothing wrong with my ship. We've been through all kinds of- If I may intrude? What is it, Alpha? The outer hull has received a lot of damage. Luckily for the shuttlecraft, Polyperspexis is notoriously hard-wearing. However, not so fortunate is its reputation for being hard to get hold of these days. You see, no point in me staying. Nothing you could do? 
I'll just have to get myself off to a shipyard close by. Hello. I said it was hard, not impossible. It's not like we need transparent aluminum to transport humpback whales through time or anything. I have just checked our inventory in my computer banks. I think we have a small amount of polyperspexis in Cargo Bay 4. That should cover the battle damage. Hey, who ordered the jukeboxes? The jukeboxes are special members of my crew. Alpha, as you were saying, battle damage. Peter, why don't you take me for a drink? Of course. Commander Fumper, I'll leave you in charge of this operation. Aye, aye, sir. This is the bar? Yes, it's not much, but it serves a nice synth milk. And we have the best salads in the fleet. Synth milk? You haven't changed a bit, have you, Peter? I've lost 20 pounds, jogging every morning and a few sit-ups before bed. Not to mention... Oh, Peter! Now what have you done to your tail? It's just a wound. A reminder of my duty as a hair command captain. I fought long and hard with a six... A seven-foot crocodile. Its teeth snapping and snarling. Really? He lost it when it was pinched during an away mission. Oh. It was part of an ambassadorial mission to open up a trade route. It was so funny. He fainted. Is that everything, Doctor? <clears throat> Hi, Captain. I'm needed in sick bay. A synth of milk for me, and... A CJ on the rocks. I hope your robots are looking after my ship. They will be. I have every confidence in them. Good. I have places to go, people to see. Why did you disappear all those years ago? (sighs) Would it have made things better if you knew why? Maybe. You never told me anything. I went to class and some of your friends told me you'd gone. No word of goodbye. You just jumped onto a shuttlecraft and went. Just like that. It wasn't that easy, Peter. Jessica. I should go now. This was a mistake. Please don't go. (sighs) What do you want me to say? Of all the starships in all the galaxies, you had to choose this one. No, I think you'll find that you chose me. I was happily escaping in my ship until you turned up. But why? Okay, if you want the truth, the Academy was just too boring. I needed excitement, Peter. No matter how much I liked you, I needed more. I needed danger and excitement. I needed a challenge, and they were never going to provide it. Besides, I I couldn't stay. Oh. Um, sorry, Peter. Maybe it's best if I go. Commander Thumper to Captain Rabbit. Your presence is requested in Shuttle Bay, Captain. If you'll excuse me, I'm needed. What is it, Commander? I believe you should take a look at this, sir. While replacing the rear starboard panel, Robot Delta discovered this. I didn't mean to press anything, but when the panel slid open, I couldn't help but notice that it was full of these, full of these paintings. Paintings? Do you recognize them, Captain? Why, yes. That's the Moan Hair Lisa. It was on a list of property stolen from the overbitten ambassador. And there, that's the Yell by Edwin Chu, reported stolen by the Limpy ambassador. I think there are some things Jessica isn't telling us. That maybe she's an intergalactic art thief, Captain. I don't think it's as simple as that, Commander. It's true, Peter. I'm an intergalactic art thief. It's as simple as that. 
I don't believe it. I told you, Peter. I needed excitement in my life. That's why I just up and left that day. The security forces found me. I see. Overbite was just too born for someone interested in a life of intergalactic art crime. I see. But obviously, not too born for someone who wanted to be a starship captain. Captain. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm bound by my duty to Hackman to put you in the brig. Yeah, I know. I could knock you out, fight my way to my shuttle, and escape. That would be the exciting thing to do. But not the wisest. Yeah, you're right for once, Peter. Maybe sometimes in life, boring, safe, and by the rules is the only option. Unless, and of course, you want to have a taste of adventure. After all, what are rules but guidelines that could be broken? What do you say? You know I can't let you fly away with all those works of art. It's my duty as a Hackman officer. But you could let me slip away unnoticed without them. I'm not sure. Captain's Personal Log The discovery of several valuable pieces of artwork within Jessica's shuttlecraft has left me in a quandary. As one of my oldest and once my closest friends, my duty to put her in the brig and report her to Hair Command Security Forces conflicts with my personal feelings. The life of a captain is about making important decisions, and some of the best captains are idolized for their ability to make the right decisions at the right times, sometimes at the expense of their duty. These are the lessons that are never taught at the Academy. Security Chief to Captain Rabbit. What is it, Chief? Forgive my interruption, Captain, but our prisoner has escaped. What? Jessica has escaped, sir. How did it happen? It appears she had a mini tranquilizer pistol hidden in her tail fur, Captain. When the guard provided her lunchtime rations, she knocked them out. Where's she now, Chief? I do not know. I have sent out security details to search the ship. Keep on searching. Keep me updated on your progress. Captain out. I know exactly where she's heading. Perspexis is in dire need of replacement. My polyperspexis is none of your business, Buckethead. Now step away from the shuttlecraft. I cannot willingly let you leave knowing that. Step back, Alpha. I'll handle this. Uh, Peter. Jessica. Peter. Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I should have guessed you'd try to stop me. It's my duty, I'm afraid. I can't let you leave this ship with the stolen artifacts. And I can't let you hand me over to the security forces. Stalemate. Yeah, I guess so. Isn't this exciting? Security, give yourself up. Uh, 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 come here. Uh, uh. All right, nobody move. I have the captain here. I have a gun. And I will use it. Keep back, all of you. Jessica, it doesn't have to be like this. Sorry, Peter. It does. There's no way out. Don't make me shoot your captain, boys. I think that's probably court martial in material. Just step back, Chief. Everyone, just stand down. Very wise, Peter. You, jukebox. Open the shuttle bay doors. Captain. Do it. Jessica, just think about what you're doing. I am. Believe me. This way. Computer. Prepare engines for takeoff. Running system diagnostic. You did not close down the system correctly last time. Some errors may have occurred. Skip diagnostic. 
It is highly recommended that you allow diagnostic to run to avoid any errors. Just prepare the engines. Affirmative. Are you taking me with you? I'm sorry, Peter, but no. You're just too straight-laced. Too by the book. Too boring. What are you going to do with me, then? <laughs> Goodbye, Peter. He's coming around, Commander. What happened? You were stunned, Pete. Jessica. That stun must have been stronger than I thought. No, it's me, Hopper. Jessica, did she get away? Yes, she did, Captain. However, we retrieved the artifacts. It appears she jettisoned them into space upon leaving the Jackalope. I knew she'd come good in the end. Captain's personal log. Supplemental. I can't help but admire a bit the way Jessica has chosen to pursue her desires, even though her drive for excitement has led her to a life outside the law. Captain, sensors detect an unidentified shuttlecraft in the area. Hail the mutant is. Hailing frequencies open, Captain. Captain of Unidentified Shuttlecraft, we have reason to believe that an intergalactic thief is hiding in the area. Have you encountered anything or anyone suspicious? No. I'm just a simple farmer on my way to market. I will keep my eyes open. Very good. Be on your way, and take care. What are your orders, Captain? Lieutenant Ears, send a message to Hair Command that we have reclaimed artifacts we believe to have been stolen. Request a security detail to meet us at Space Station Leaper to recover the artifacts. Mr. Magzaka, set a course for the station. Aye, Captain. Sometimes in life, not playing by the rules is the better option. Helm, warp two. Activate. Gilmore as Captain Peter Rabbit, Bobby Owens as Lieutenant Tanya Ears, Rocky Ringano as Commander Thumper, Michael Liebman as Dr. Harvey Hopper Smith, David McIver as Lieutenant Taddy McZacker, Jules Ismail as Robot Alpha, Stefania Littenbon as Robot Delta, Kim Giannopoulos as Computer, Bernadette Marie Groves as Jessica, Captain John Tatterzak as Security Chief. Star Rabbit Tracks and All the Shuttlecrafts and All the Parsecs was written by N.J. Rainford. Editing by James W. Smigata. Produced by Captain John Tatterzak. Post-production by James W. Smigata. Webmaster April Sadowski. Captain John Tatterzak, CEO of MisfitsAudio.com. Captain John Tatterzak is the originator of Star Rabbit Tracks. We would like to confirm that no harm came to any rabbits, robots, computer, ships, or artworks while producing this audio. We are not affiliated in any way with Star Trek or Beatrix Potter. This production is for enjoyment purposes only. I'm your announcer, Bernadette Marie Groves, for Misfits Audio 2010.
Hey, who ordered the jukeboxes?